Hey everyone, that's better. It's the 22nd of June, it's just gone five past ten and it's a Saturday evening. And I can hear the uh, owl that is back. It's actually been here, out that sort of area, out the back here, for the past couple of weeks. Regular. <laughs> so it must like it around this area. Anyway, Saturday car boot day when the weather's fine obviously so over here right there see, got a worktop full of various items that I have purchased today you know there's just some I just bought for the heck of it because it was cheap and others I do have a use and I can hear Nemo can you <laughs> Um, yeah, you know, bits to add to my favourite collections and whatnot. Anyway, so, I think the oddest thing I picked up is this big old light bulb. It's actually a 200 watt, 240 volt light bulb. Don't get these anymore. So, I saw that and I thought, you know what, I checked because I looked up there and I checked, filament is still intact so it's still a good bulb. I thought I'll keep that and add that to my bulb collection because you don't get them anymore. They weren't a very common bulb, not in the house anyway, back in the day. Um, I think when I was younger the brightest we ever had was 150 watt. So, I'm going to put that somewhere safe later. And I just can't get over the actual size of that. <laughs> um, I don't know where to go next. Let's get this. I paid two pounds for this. This isn't the only electrical thing that I've got. I've got a big roll of um, 2.5 twin and earth cable. 2.5 mil. I don't know what gauge that is in American sizes. Well, that is commonly used on... Um, power outlet circuits over here. I think I've got a nice... Yeah, this is a brand spanking new one. Look, it's not been used. The um, knockout has not been used. It's exactly the same as two manky ones that I've got in the cupboard. And this is a brand new one with the box. So it is a maintained one. Three hour. As it's been sitting around for I don't know how long, I don't know if the battery in it is going to be any good. But I can hook the cable up to it at some point. It's Newlec branded. I don't know if Newlec still exist. Well, it says three hour maintained in pen. Ah, unless. That's not the right one for the box. That may not be the right one for the box. I got a bit confused because it says there on the box, 8 wow, eight, wow, 8 watt, 3 hour, non-maintained bulkhead. Hmm. But like I said, in pen, someone's written on, written on it, 3 hour maintained. But yeah, £2. Really, not only did I buy it as, well, because it's in good condition compared to my other two, but... I've got it for the tube as well. It was worth the two quid just for the tube. I ain't got no room. <laughs> just try and make it a little bit of room. Right, what should we go for next? I'll be gentle with these. So, I got this from... Well, I got this 160 gigabyte IDE hard drive. Uh, this to use on my older laptops, so I can upgrade the number of USBs, and maybe even on some of my newer ones. And this one just to throw in a random desktop, all from the same seller for three quid, basically for the lot. So I hope the IDE hard drive works because. I'm actually sure, well, having said that, I'm not that sure on hard drives, not on SATA hard drives now, because um, I've already had four from the same guy I got this six from, um, 
So I've actually bought 10 from him in total. And he said he can get more should I require them. And at £5 a piece for a 500 gig hard drive, that one's got video written on it. I think they've all got video. What's this one? Nope, that's another pipeline. Ah, the second pipeline that I've got. The third pipeline. So are they 500 gigs? There's three 500 gigs there. Uh, another video, 500 gig, video, 500 gig, video, 500 gig. So yeah, they're all 500 gig drives. Um, it looks like what I'm now short on is IDE drives. Uh, so I wouldn't mind. I should have gone for that computer actually. Even if I didn't really need it, I could have just broken it for parts, like the hard drive, for example. So I'm just going to stack these over here. I've got the. <laughs> I actually don't have room in my cupboard. That's a first. I'll put on white white for now. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, with that bulb, I got two other items. I paid a pound for three items. Random black blank tape. I really don't know why because I've got a bucket load of those. And that brand actually, TDK. Um, Ferric 90, is that a type 1? Yeah, it's a type 1. The most common that you could get. Uh, and the other thing I've got was this um, Solido model car. I just liked it. Don't know. I've heard of Salido, but never really. Oh crap! That's 99p, brand new. Oh, and they do. It. Oh, is this a French company? Because there's a load of French cars on the back here. This is a front a model of a French car as well. It's a Peugeot 504. Yeah, they got some more on the back there. Oh no, they've got an Alpha there. That's not. Oh, and I got a Fiesta. And an Escort. Oh, so it's not all uh, um, French. Yeah, I didn't think that was a bad deal for a pound for all of them. Uh, I think I'm going to just stick up this end for now. So I've got another one of these radios with a doing aerial on it, rubbery aerial, springy aerial. Now this one doesn't have CB bands, it's only got air band on it. And just takes four double A's. We've got to stick some batteries in this later and see if I can get it to do anything. Also runs on DC 6 volt, but I haven't got... Actually I might have, come to think of it. I paid a couple of pounds for this. I've got this from the same guy I got the hard drives from. I've actually bought quite a few items from him over the last couple of weeks. And from another store I found, selling computer equipment. I did pay £10 for all three of these, which was still a steal. I've got Windows NT Workstation. Um, I've got Microsoft N Windows NT Server. And Windows 98. So I actually have a genuine Windows 98 disk now, second edition as well. I'm not sure if that's the boot disk. It could be a reinstalled disk. 1981 to 1999 Microsoft. Copyright that is. But yeah, I couldn't resist some official software like that. So, we've got three laptops. Now, I pay 25 quid for all three. 15 for this little Dell. It's a Dell and Spiral, I think. Uh, it's a bloody scratch right through the model number. This does work. It does turn on. It needs doesn't have a hard drive. So in theory, if I put a hard drive in this, I'll have a cheap, shitty little laptop, basically. That will run Windows 10 because it's got a dual core. Not a very good dual core on it, but a dual core. And I think it's DDR2 RAM. The battery actually annoys the hell out of me because this whole thing is the battery. Then it's got this palm rest built into it. And it's got that horrible coating on it that's 
you know that goes really I don't know if you can see that on camera but like I said it does turn on um, there is no charger with it but it's not a bad little laptop I'm gonna hope I can get this to work and perhaps use it down at mum's so I don't have to keep hijacking hers I have got a power adapter for it I do have a whole bunch of um, Dell power, power supplies there and I can get my words out okay I'm glad I checked that it's got four USB sockets but I can see the plastic is broken on that one you see it it's broken right where my finger is if I can get it in the light there we go so I've just got to remember that that one is not a good one to plug anything in mind you I actually find even these days you don't need many USBs on a laptop mainly because a lot of stuff is built into them nowadays and that and a lot of stuff that you would plug in is obsolete now anyway you might if you like me you might plug in a USB mouse because I prefer the USB uh, or a, you know a, a separate mouse where can I put this for now but yeah, I might have a go at doing that later. The next one is an advent. Mary, he did tell me outright this one doesn't work. <laughs> uh, so I do appreciate honesty like that. It is, it's got a Windows Vista thingy sticker on it. Um, it could be something as simple as a faulty um, power supply jack it might not be making any connection but he just said he plugged it in and nothing happened so which is a shame because this has got external SATA on the back and HDMI and two USB ports you know I wouldn't mind getting this one up and running don't know if there's any hard drive or RAM or anything like that with it I didn't ask but to be honest as these were basically a fiver each as I paid 15 for that and then £10 for these two. Even he said, you know, it's worth it just for the screens. And he's absolutely right. I am trying to have or get a little stockpile of screens. This one, he said, has got a busted... Um, oh, it's got a key. A space key missing as well. And that's not a problem. Um, it's got a busted power jack on it. And I have looked and it is pretty busted. <laughs> So that could be its only problem. See? Can you see that? It's all smashed up in there. I actually have to say it's not a bad looking laptop to be honest. Again, I don't know if there's any hard drive or RAM or anything like that in it. But it really doesn't matter for £5 to strip it out for the screen and put that up on the cabinet with the pile of the... Uh, others I've got a big uh, big stack of them just there but, uh, that's a Samsung and I'm, I'm not keen on Samsung laptops let's put them that way so there's two more to play around with I'll see if I can do something with this later. So, got another one of these. <laughs> got an orange one this time. So now I have got grey, sort of like a light grey off white coloured one, blue, red, yellow, orange. This has got a battery in it, but it's not working. So, just for giggles, should we actually see if the Batteries caused any damage if I can find a suitable flathead just to pry the back off. That I'm actually interested just to see what sort of battery is in it. It's a ring. Ring ring. Are we dead? Uh, totally dead. I did the tongue check and there is absolutely no zing in that whatsoever. So that's the problem. And just to make sure, here's a battery I found earlier. Oh. Right, drop that in there. I'm not going to 
put the cover on, I just want to... Whee! It works! I thought it would, because 9 times out of 10, they all work. So there's not really a lot that can go wrong with that. I'm actually collecting these because I'm curious. I want to know how many different colours Everready did. In fact, one of mine is not an Everready, it's an X side, but they're just the same freaking thing with a different name on it. I do want them batteries out of that later. Because I've got another torch. I know I've moved the camera so you can't see it now, but it is just over here. Quite an unusual one. I think I paid, what was it, £2 for that? And I've got one of these. Now you're probably thinking, why the fudge have I bought another one when I've got the little one? Well, I can put a bigger, brighter light bulb in this one for stars. So I thought, you know, why put up with the small one when I can have a much larger one? I have just realised that's a bit stiff and a bit loose, but... Someone's wedged a paper clip in there to try and stiffen the joint up. This whole bit here needs tightening up as well. But yeah, I've got a bulb I can put in it. I think. I should have one I can put in there. But I just thought in you know, a bigger bulb, spreads the light a bit more. Clip feels okay. I don't know why I paid £4 for that, but never mind. <laughs> We will never know. Right, so. A whole bunch of cars, including this. That is my favourite. That's, um, it's an all-metal model. Um, the company... Actually, I was given a motorbike made by the company, but my, my little brother actually stole that off me. <laughs> it never made it home. It never made it back here to the flat. <laughs> It's up in his bedroom now. But uh, yeah, I saw that and um, I actually didn't see it the first time because when I go to these car boots, I like to go around at least twice. I spotted it the second time um, when I was actually walking back to pick some plants up that mum had bought. We were both walking back. We got the plants and we were on our way back to the car and I thought, I've got to have it. So I've got this... Uh, it's a very large Dennis fire truck. Some very well detailed action. Like I said, it's all metal. There's no plastic on this at all. And uh, it's actually a very good likeness to the real thing. But they seem to make lots of different vehicles of that size. And apparently, I don't know if it's true, apparently they can um, sell for £45 brand new. Uh, then I just got some random sort of mostly Hot Wheels. There is a Corgi here, the Royal Mail van because I don't have that one. I've got two Fire vans, but not the Royal Mail one. I think I think this is Matchbox. Yeah, it's not Matchbox. I've got the red and white version of this, but not that one. Uh, that's not Hot Wheels. That's a little Fire Chief Smart Car. I don't know why Nemo is so vocal at the minute. Actually, light on the roof seems to be at a funny angle. Are you alright, Nemo? I can hear you uh, meowing away. I don't even know who made this. Doesn't sound like you've got loads of numbers on the bottom. Yeah. There's another Corgi. What was Citroen? Is that the Citroen 2CV? Yeah. I don't know if that's a 2CV or the Diane. Actually, I just said that was a um, Diane going by the lights, but nope, 2CV according to the book. I think I've already got another one of those. So yes, yeah, a bunch of nice Hot Wheels down here. And some of my favourites is an older Corvette. I do like that one. Bel Air Nomad. I think that's a Nissan, that one. Datsun, sorry. 240Z. 
a little bit rough that one. Another one here, Camaro Z28. Or should that be a Z28? This one, I'm not sure if that, I'm pretty certain that was not squished when I picked it up. I think that got squished. That sort of <laughs> got written off in my possession, unfortunately. A little bit. Well, I could fix it if I want to get like a hot air gun on here and heat the metal up and. I can try and straighten it. You have to heat these up. If I try straighten that, yeah, straightening that out now, I will just snap the metal. That is the downside of die cast. Uh, is there anything else of interest in here? That was this one that I picked up, but I didn't actually look at what it was. Made in Malaysia. 71 Maverick, from the look of it. Yep, it's a 71 Maverick. It's a little bit rough around the edges. I think it's been somewhere damp because the axle's rusted, but I think that's a nice little vehicle. Vehicle. Then we've got this one. I think I've got a yellow one. I think it's a Chevy. Yep. It's a Chevy Vega. And I have got a yellow one. Pretty certain these two are identical. They are from the looks of it. Or is it Dodge? Chrysler. So is that one a Chrysler as well? Yep, they are exactly the same. Just with different colours on. Right. The other one I would have said was of any interest would be this one. Which I think is a Mustang. Yep, 1992 Ford Mustang. I've actually forgot, I've got another one here. Which is made by Maisto. A cheaper casting, but they still make nice looking ones. And what the Ford Fusion. Gotham City Police. I didn't realise that said Gotham City on it. I only saw police when I picked it up. I was like, oh, police car. <laughs> But I think the best ones that I got were these awesome matchbox models of yesteryear. Look at the details on these. Look, even even mirrors. Mirrors have fell off the other one though. Well, I've got a big old push bar on the front of it. Look at the detail in the back there. I'm guessing that's a car battery there. The workbench with a vice on it. It's like a mobile workshop. Yeah, that's a 56 Chevro um, Chevrolet. 3100, this one. But look at that. And believe it or not, this, all this black under there is a separate chassis. There's a screw there and a screw there, and this whole chassis comes away. It's an actual chassis. And then there's another screw there that holds the cab to the blue base. But yeah, you can actually remove the chassis. And the tow truck is exactly the same. Although this one is a 56 Chevy um, pickup truck. Look at the detail. It's even got the hand crank there for the, the crane. And some tools and things in the back there, and the big red dome light on the roof. Although this one has lost its mirrors and the fuel cap. But it is exactly the same. But yeah, aside from the missing mirrors and fuel cap, this is in mint condition as well. I thought I couldn't resist these. So we've got the Corgi Royal Mail Mark III Ford Escort van. I don't actually use this yellow stripe on there um, live really well. With that, I can't see a mark on that to be honest. That looks mint. A bit dusty, but looks mint. And then, we've got the Hoover service van. Because back in the day when this was uh, new, 
engineers actually came round to your home and fixed your hoovers. <clears throat> in little vans, just like this one. Pretty much all this would have carried would have been, you know, a few spare motors and probably some spare belts and things. Just the usual bits that would have gone on your vacuum cleaner. I don't know if Hoover had any other products back then, like they do nowadays. They do washing machines, tumble dryers and all sorts. Oh. The Lego, I think you can see from there. Now, you're probably thinking, looking over here, why the hell have I bought four of these? Well, they're only £2 each. And I bought them... Because I wanted these. Now you're probably thinking, why the hell did I spend £2 on those each when all I wanted was these? I could have gone on eBay and bought these separately. Yeah, I could have gone on eBay and bought these individually at £2 a pop, sometimes even more. I've actually seen some sellers asking four quid just for this piece. So when he said two quid, I thought I'll have all four of those. Just so I can have the crane arms up from them. Just like that. I don't think these are actually set. Whee! But uh, this one's very incomplete. Um, but that doesn't bother me because I do actually have this set. So I'm just going to add the parts that are missing. This one I like. This one's a far set that I wanted a while ago. And now I've got it. I just realised it hasn't got the stickers on it, but never mind. I can live without the stickers. Everyone knows what the set is. I will find the instructions up for this. I just realised I was off camera. What tit. <laughs> yeah, I will find the instructions up to this. Dismantle it at some point and rebuild it. Just to make sure it is complete. And the other thing which I absolutely adore is this. It's another um, personal cassette player. This has got radio as well. And it works. And I paid just £3 for it. And everything works on it. Even the tape player works beautifully on it. But it's really easy to use. You just press the button once. Comes on for AM. Which radio really, really special. Thank you. and then off and tape is just automatic I don't know if it'll work when it's off like that but yep in the book you'll see a list of nationalities see if yours is there and remember in lots of cases the word for nationality changes sound depending on whether you are meant Sony speakers as well. It's not very loud because I expect the amplifier built into this isn't very loud, but yeah. I don't think I'll get a copyright strike for that. That's only a um one of those learn French tapes. But yeah, as you heard, it plays absolutely fine. I can't even hear any wow and wow or flutter from that tape. How do we get in to get the tape? That's the hold button. Oh, I see. Let's have a quick look at it, because I haven't actually taken the tape out yet. The French Experience 1 Cassette 1 Side A, BBC World Limited 1994. Probably still valid today. I can't see why it wouldn't be. Okay, the last item is this Pifco Lantern. Not seen one before. New semi-sealed beam. Not quite sure how you get a semi-sealed beam. It is Pifco because it's got it on the back. Put it upside down. Right there. Pifco. That's just got some instructions on the back here for um, changing the bulb, putting the batteries in and... Uh, uh, yeah. 
that is it and just what type of battery and bulb it uses and it's just got this um, twin handle so you can sit it like that basically and just tilt it I get the feeling it's meant to be like a you know an old portable work light sort of thing for working on cars and whatnot I nearly dropped it <laughs> right I'm going to put some batteries in it because I want to see it lit up so I'm going to take this off it takes four D-cell batteries which is the reason I wanted that I might actually just have to oh no I think I can do it yet I was just thinking I may have needed the um, um, something to cut that way Right, so I'm going to put one in there. Don't think I'm going to have to clean the contacts up. That one goes that way in. That way in. I'll put that one in the right way. I think I may have. I did. Whoops. I didn't think that looked right. And that one in, put our cover on, I'm going to put it on the right way up this time I think. It does work. <laughs> it's not the brightest thing on the planet, but it does work. I think the battery contacts might need a clean because that is flickering a little bit. Is actually quite awesome. It's actually given off quite a spot of light, but quite bright to look at. Yeah, it's flickering a bit. I'm guessing there's some contacts that would need cleaning, but other than that, it is actually working. So, um, I was going to talk about a few other things in this video, but I think this has gone on long enough, don't you? <laughs> oh, oh, pardon me. But anyway, I'm also itching to get that laptop done when I can figure out where the uh, hard drive goes. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. I hope you found the video interesting. I will talk to you all again in the next video. Bye.